Anne Frederick, and this is News 6. On today's show, we will visit the Immaculate Conception Grade School in Port Clinton, Ohio. Port Clinton is a nautical community and has a ferry boat as one of its attractions. Here's Diane Frawley with the story. Riding on a ferry boat is one of the main methods of transportation to and from Putin Bay. A local boat line has been operating for over 40 years. This boat line has three boats and some can carry anything from people to semis. It takes 18 minutes to go from Catawba Point to Long Kinlan in Putin Bay. All three boats are 65 feet long and differ in width. They have a draft of 7 feet when empty and 9 feet when full. The boat service runs from April 3rd to mid-November. The boats take thousands of people to Putin Bay each year. Two boats have one prop and one boat has two props. The ferry is a nice way to go to Putin Bay. Ballet instruction is an important part of the daily lives of some Immaculate Conception students. Our News 6 crew visited Mrs. Bodger's ballet studio. Here's Matt Mueller with the report. Mrs. Bodger is the owner of a ballet school. She has been teaching since she was 12 years old. She has had 20 recitals. Last year, a recital was on, a sleep, on Sleeping Beauty. The recital for this year is still in its planning stages. She has had 18 different classes with pupils between the ages of 5 and 18. She also teaches adult classes. The kindergarten classes are mostly tumbling pupils. They will go to point shoes in about the fourth grade. Toe shoes are made up of satin and blue tips with the rest of the shoe being totally satin. Mrs. Bottiger works four days a week. In her spare time, she teaches jazz. She also does choreography for the Playmaker Theater. Choreography is making up original dances or plays. Mrs. Bottiger choreographs all of her own recitals. She says that she loves her work and the kids. Her students think she is pretty special as well. They say that she does a good job of teaching them without yelling. Growing and selling flowers is an interesting business. Our News 6 reporter, Tom Thorpe, visited one of Port Clinton's oldest florist shops in this story. Cleanbell's florist is a flower shop and greenhouse. The owner is Floyd Cleanbell. His mother established the business. The store belongs to FTD. Flora's Trans World Delivery, Teleflora, and Florifax. These memberships allow them to phone flowers anywhere. Mr. Cleanbell occasionally grows vegetables like tomatoes, radishes, and potatoes. Tomato plants sell very well in the spring. In the fall, Mr. King Cleanbell buys poinsettias. They arrive around Christmas. He used to receive the plants earlier and raise them himself. He has fresh flowers from snapdragons to roses. He also has artificial straw, plastic, and silk flowers. Mary Cleanbell is also a major part of the store. Mr. and Mrs. Cleanbell are both excellent designers. The store also handles weddings, proms, and funerals. It has been around for 60 years. The store is very well run and will properly operate for many years to come. Port Clinton has a problem that afflicts many of our local communities, potholes in the streets. Here's Matt Mueller with an editorial on the subject. We have had a problem with the streets in Port Clinton. About two years ago, a bus was going to pick up some children on Madison Street. The bus hit a pothole about two to three feet in diameter and about nine inches deep. When the bus hit the pothole, it broke an axle. The person driving the bus said that they would not drive on that street until it was fixed. The street department patched Madison Street, but this didn't help very much. Trucks and salt have made the streets worse since then. Several other less used roads were completely restored while one of the heaviest used streets goes looking and riding like an alley. Part of the reason for this problem is that part of the street is higher than most of the ground around the street. I personally think that Madison Street should be torn up, leveled off, and have fresh tar poured from 6th Street to 11th Street. Residents of Madison Street would like to see a new street put in. It's up to the uh, street department. The Tin Glues is a, is a Ford tri tri motor airplane that has been flying near Port Clinton 
since the 1930s. Our News 6 reporter, Diane Foley, covered this story. Goose and duck hunting are popular sports around Port Clinton. But in 1977, when the tin goose fell from the sky, seriously injuring pilot Dave Martin, our hearts fell too. This red, white, and blue Ford tri-motor plane belongs to Island Airlines, was a faithful friend to island people. Since 1935, she has transported from them to mainland, serving as a school bus, taxi, ambulance, and mover. She looks clumsy compared to modern planes. However, her short takeoff and landing abilities, huge balloon tires, and tailgating landing gear make her perfect for island trips. When she wrecked, Dave Haberman, owner of the airlines, decided not to let the goose die. People backed him with a Save the Goose fund. The plane was hauled to Cal Aero Corporation, Michigan, to be rebuilt while he waited, hopefully. In late March, she flew back to her home nesting grounds in Port Clinton. Because of changes in aviation law, the goose will no longer be allowed to land on island airstrips. But our grand old bird will be happy to take you for a flying trip and give you a bird's eye view of our area when you visit. Thank you for watching News 6. Next week, our News 6 crew will visit Central Junior High School in Bryan, Ohio. We all hope to see you then. Mm -hmm.